What what you want me here? What is it? What? Well, I can't listen right now and give you my reaction on camera. Cue it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Speaking of which, um, I don't know. I remember uh, being outside of this venue and actually like recording some shit with you back in the day. Remember, it happened in a tour bus right outside of the uh, the Warfield. Rock the Bills uh, slash pay dues thing. And um, one of the reasons we didn't even come in this building except to like do a show was because nigga was in the back recording over your slaps. Nigga, I put it like this. Um, when's the first time you made it? What's the first beat you made? What year was it? Uh, shit, I would, say, I would say about 2000. Maybe 2003. But I've been DJing since I was... How old? 92, 93. How old was you when you first started DJing? Uh, 11. 11 years old. 11 years old. What made you want to be a DJ? Because a lot of niggas like want to be a Pops DJ. Was a, Pops was a DJ. Uh-oh. Got two brothers that DJ. Oh. So from from knee high to tree high. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. Nah, I used to just sneak down and use them motherfuckers when they ain't know. Woo! Yup. <laughs> so that's like, you want it. Yeah, it was talking to me. Why did why you, you want it? Because I heard Jam Master Jam run DMC on the radio going wooka wooka, and I'm like, what is that? As soon as I seen my cousin do wooka wooka, I was like, oh, I'm about to do wooka wooka too. Oh! So, uh, <laughs> did you, are you a self taught scratcher? Or who did you watch to try to learn how to scratch? Uh, everybody, uh, you know. Uh, I don't got a fact. I, I mean, like I said, Jam Master J was the first person to do that to introduce me to the sound. But Rock Raider, I used to look up to Rock Raider, Grand uh, Grandmaster Rock Raider, rest in peace, Rock Raider, from the X Men uh, from New York. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, of course, yeah, Q Bird and all of them. Yeah, my name, Q Bird, my guy. Man, he put me on one of his videos like way back in the day. I was, I was probably damn near, uh, other than Scratch because I was the only other uh, young nigga on there. So, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, all of them, all of them know. All, everybody, everybody that do it though, I'm inspired by everybody. Everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the Boosie niggas. Oh, damn. Um, my question about scratching is like, some niggas just be like, they just be cutting out. I mean, I don't understand it all the way. Right. And now if you look at music now, niggas don't be having no cuts. They don't. They don't. They don't use scratches in there. Right? It's a lost, yeah, it's a lost, uh, it's a lost art. It's a lost art for sure. Why don't you put cuts in shit that you do with niggas? Oh, I do. You just ain't heard it. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. I got a lot of, I got a lot of work. Okay, that's the next question too. How many beats have you made? Man, you know what? Uh oh, uh oh. I, I just, I just uh had loaded up. <laughs> I just loaded up my uh. My uh, so I, I got I got I got like a, a five terabyte hard drive, right? That I just put every. So a terabyte is a thousand gigs, you feel me? So I got a five terabyte hard drive, so that's five thousand gigs. But it, it's hella slow because it's so big. Yeah. But I always upload all my music, everything yeah. that I, I worked on and done, and put it to there, right? And I loaded it up like, uh, probably like the other day or whatever, because it takes so long, right? <laughs> And I looked in the beats folder. <laughs> that that mother that motherfucker said four thousand four thousand something something seven hundred ninety two beats. <laughs> now after you say <laughs> shit like that, now let's go ahead and say, who are you to the camera to the blue people? Who who are you? Uh, my name in the world is Fresh is uh, BKA, better known as DJ Fresh, but even BKA BKA better known as better known as DJ Fresh DJ Fresh DJ Fresh. <laughs> Yes. Okay, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. That's yes, right. You gotta say it three times. Hell yeah. You gotta say it. Who's the first big nigga you started DJing? Uh, the first one, for real, for real, the first one. The first big nigga I ever did a show with was uh, Common Sense, but my brother was with him, so I was on my brother' coattail. 
So that was on my brother coattail. But the first big nigga I did some shit with that was well, just me. Common sense before he was named Common, he was common sense, and then they ran into like some legal shit. And then he had to drop the yeah, sense. Man just had to ride with it. That's what happened. So that was the first big nigga I did some shit with. That was the first big nigga I did a show with. Was you nervous? Uh oh. Maybe like from one to ten, maybe like two. Two or two or three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nervous, nervousness is good though, cause it just mean, it just mean that like like you you ready to do what you always do, but it's just you know cracking through. Bro, 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 was you instantly hot on the beat right out the out, right out the gate, or did it take a minute? No, I was boosy at first. Oh shit! I was boosy at first. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, compared to now, I was bo- I was boosy at first. I still was saucy, but I was boosy. I was boosy. I was boosy saucy. <laughs> I was the sauciest boosy nigga. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> What's the? Do you remember the first beat that you made that was made you proud as fuck? That you was like, nigga, I made this shit right here, nigga. This shit go. Uh, I mean, beats is like kids to me. Like you can't pick your favorite kid, even though people do pick their favorite kid. They but do, they still, they but they still a creation. Like, ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. But I'll say the most like, like, like memorable one. Like, I, I would say uh, when I start hearing my shit on the radio. Uh oh, which one? It was with Fab. It was a song called uh, it was called We Go Stupid. Like in the beginning of the hyphy, the uh, the hyphy movement. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand six. Yeah, it was in the bay, you know what I'm saying? On the radio. In the soil. In the soil. It was on the radio though. Yes, man. Yeah, it was on the radio. It was on the radio. Straight from the like but no no like publicist, none of that shit. Just straight from the soil. Just just from like 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 you feel me? Yeah, off top. Off top. I was like, man, that's lit. I was in Frisco, where we at right now. I was getting lit. <laughs> I was in Mission Rock. I was at Mission Rock. Yeah. And uh uh shit. It just came on. I had a tonight show shirt on. I was clean. I had some Air Force Ones on. You, you feel got, me? You always got clean shoes. <laughs> you always be trying to fuck me up every day. You remind me of my day in the shoe game, my dad back then. It was a good moment, man. It was a good moment. I was happy. You start getting, it was like, off top, yeah, you off top. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, baby, that's you know, that's me, oh, that's oh, me right there. I just found something. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that was my first shit. I ever. Huh? Did it help you knock it down? I don't knock it down that night, but I knocked down many others after that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it was a setup. Yeah, it was a good alley oop. Yeah, the hell you. Hell yeah. Oh, what's right, up? One last thing, I'm gonna let you go do the film. Man, that's all good, man. Uh, I want you to know. And it's an honor to be interviewed by 3.0. Uh, AKA, BKA, lucky I am. You still BKA. Because I grew up on. Yeah, formerly known as my bad. Formerly known as lucky I am. PSC. I do know that when I die, I got a whole catalog to give to my kids so they can just keep making money wow. and, 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 you know, keep building wealth and just, I got something to give my kids. Go. For real, for real. I got a catalog to give my kids. Straight up. So, that. so that's where I'm at right now. Hey, Off top. Off top. Off top. Do they, can they grasp what you be doing? Like, you told me, you said, uh, I don't know. Put all the way back, but some, when you when you show them that um, Chris Beasy, some people got happy. Like, oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. No, I do this for my kids, for sure, for my seeds, for sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, if I went for them, I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could put a battery in my back. So, wow, off top. All you had to do is like, I gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. We can talk. You doing what you do. 
I'm definitely trying to give me a Grammy, man. What happened, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> ninth. Oh, ninth. What happened? No, I'm, I'm, de I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely trying to, sh I'm definitely shooting for it. Some people want it. Some people don't care about having a Grammy or nothing. My other thing is, is this too. Would you um, entertain the offer of producing outside of your genre? My genre? Yeah. Off town, yeah. Like producing like some pop stars and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never put myself inside a box. Never. Nigga. <laughs> All the time. Yeah, I would never put myself inside a box. I ain't, I would never be a dinosaur or none of that shit. What's a producer that we might not think you'd you like, that you, that you fuck with, that you like to work with? I fuck with every producer. Huh, every I'm just saying, it's some, it, like producing, like I can find something that he do that I don't do, obviously, right. and appreciate what he do. Can you listen to somebody's shit and kind of tell how they did it right away? Like dissect it? Yeah. yeah. Not everybody. Not everybody. But, but yeah. 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 It's just like a rapper. Like, I'm not a rapper, but you're you a professional rapper. You've been, you been doing this shit you from knee high to tree high, like I said earlier. Yeah. So, like, you can hear a motherfucker that's doing, like, some shit, woo woo, and you down there can finish his line before he finishes it because you've just been rapping that goddamn long. And it's the same know, way. Exactly. It's the same way with producing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could just dissect, like, oh, he he got this. He got he got, he got reason. He downloaded the da 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 da. da like, you feel me? And I ain't hating on him on this saying, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. And last thing, here's the real last thing. Uh, turntables, you know, it's just, uh, you know, they just, I love turntables, but lately in my last few shows, like, the, the motherfuckers just been breaking down, they ain't been working the way they're supposed to, right before we got to go on, and, uh, You've been being emotional. I, it's been a long-term relationship. <laughs> was, wait, how old was you in the DMCs? I was, like, what, 19 or some shit. I did do Nas, yeah, I did Nas. Nas was my first, for my first big major tour, I did Nas. First big major tour, yeah. But then right after I got out tour with Nas, I had uh, sent a little uh, 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 demonstration video to uh, to y'all, Live Legend, Grouch and shit. You feel me? Then we hooked up about a good four or five years later, and here we are today. Man, I'm gonna always rock with turntables, but them motherfuckers is getting old, man. <laughs> The bitch old man. The bitch old. She can't. She she can't bend her leg back like how she used to. <laughs> she can. She 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 get hurt. She get hurt, man. You feel me? You can't teach an uh, old dog new tricks, man. Nah, I love turntables, but I'm uh, but I'm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like on some culture shit, like DJ culture shit, like like. They just unreliable, and any real DJ know what I'm talking about. They just unreliable. I still love them to death, but they unreliable, and that's not a good feeling when you gotta go on stage and motherfucking 120 seconds, 120 seconds, two minutes, and then your shit ain't working. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A minute, a minute, a minute on stage, and shit not going right. Feel like an eternity. Yeah, you know, this rap shit like dog years, bro. Like one human year, one human year is like seven rap years. What you got coming up? Uh oh. Man, hella shit, hella shit, hella shit. This is a whole other hour. What you got? What's, what, what's the most? For real, for real. I'm going to just say like this my shit is just like, it's my, my, my brand of music is like a network. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you want to hear like some old school good shit, you turn into the choir storm. When you hear, when you. You want to hear some like uh, Anita Baker and all that kind of shit. Like you know, you turn to the choir song. When you want to hear some radio club shit, if you in L. A., you tune to what 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 what's, what's the, exactly exactly. If you want to hear some like if you want to hear some like good some uh, golden era shit with K Day or some shit, yeah, the new yeah. yeah yeah. That's how DJ Fresh shit is. Like if you want to tune into my shit, you just tune into tonight's show shit because I got a hell of shit always coming out at all times. And some of them titles are and some of them titles is I got. I got some grouch. I got me and Grouch got one done. Me and Mozzie. Me, me, hella, hella. 
Yeah, it came out three years ago. Yeah, me and Miles, I got hella beef. Me and Fody got some shit. Me and Keek, me every, every everybody from North from Northern California. I got niggas with shit with Texas. I got hella shit up. You gotta tap in. Me and Lil B got some shit. Me and uh, me me and Stalin. Me and me and uh, hella shit. Yeah, Jay Stalin, man, hella shit though. Uh, me and Eli got some shit. Me and you got. Some new shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just gotta just tune in, just tune in, man. You feel me? I'm like Coca Cola, a trusted brand. You know what I'm saying? A trusted brand. No, they don't do me like that. They don't do me like that because, like, when you buy Coca Cola, you know what you're gonna get, right? When you fuck a fresh, you know what you're gonna get. It's a trusted brand. <laughs> DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh. Blue! No. Got you, baby. Hey, yeah.